Hi there. This last rules video that I am going to go ahead and give you a walkthrough through is about our quick replies on chat. So what are quick replies and how do we set it up? If you have chat integrated onto your Gorgeous, all you have to do is click into your chat, click into your support chat, and this is what we're focusing on, quick replies. What quick replies are, are a method of instead of you know your customer chatting in about certain topics maybe you know that you know free samples is something that your customers will always be asking about what you can do is create this quick reply so instead of a customer chatting in um, do you have free samples and setting up a rule almost like that auto response we set up in the last video um, we could go ahead and use this free samples as a quick reply to speed it up this way as well, your clients will note that there's a bot involved um, and they can kind of get that satisfaction of having their question immediately answered. So the first thing that we want to start out with is making sure that the quick reply, the naming is exactly what we want it to. So in this case, we are going to go ahead and use the free samples. Um, and this is how I will use the same words within the rule when I create it. I also want to make sure that the macro is set up because we are going to be sending this macro when clients click on free samples. So I'm going to go ahead and name this macro free samples and I'll go ahead and put in a variable. So I'm going to use hi first name. So that's going to be the customer's first name. Um, we do not offer free samples. Maybe you want to include a discount code, though, because even though they won't get free samples, they'll feel like they got a little bit from kind of clicking that free samples. Um, to use the discount code, happy 10. And 10% off your order. And then you can either put your branding here, um, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it like this. But I also want to go ahead and add a tag here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tag free sample inquiry. So then that way I can also keep track of how many times are people actually asking about free samples. And if it's something that ends up becoming more relevant, I can go ahead and maybe um, start to think about giving out free samples. Um, because again, tags is something that you will be able to track for your statistics. So I'll go ahead and create this macro. So part two of setting this up is done. So just a refresher, the first part was heading over to integrations, clicking into chat and setting the exact phrase that we want within the quick reply. The next is creating the macro that will be sent when people chat in the, uh, uh in your chat. Finally, we are going to go ahead and set up the rule. So in this one, I'm going to go ahead and do auto reply chat. And then I'm going to name it super descriptive free samples. So, you know, and actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use auto response chat quick reply, keeping with the gorgeous naming conventions again to make it easier for whoever um, accesses your help desk. And in this case, um, macro free samples perfect i'll go ahead and create the rule and again we need to set up a trigger we need to set up the conditions or the parameters where this rule will fire and finally the action that will happen so when ticket created and we want to specify that this is coming from chat so, you know, we're going to go ahead and use if message channel is chat. And then we are going to do if the message body contains all of free sample. What this will do is um, it will make sure that when someone clicks free samples and free samples only, this rule will fire. So a mistake that I might have made and something that I actually just want to double check while you're with me is, did I actually use free sample or did I use free samples? So what I'll do is I'll save this rule. I'm going to head back over into my chat just to make sure I have the naming convention right. And I don't. There is an extra S at the end of free samples. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my note or my rules 
come back to free sample and then instead I'll erase free sample and put in free samples. There we go. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and add that macro. So we're gonna apply our free samples macro. And then from here, um, within that macro, we already have that tag, free sample inquiry. But maybe I also wanna just see how many times am I actually auto responding to tickets? So I'm gonna go ahead and add the tag, auto response. And so this way, every time that I this rule fires, I'll be able to keep track of it within my statistics and see how much of my workflow am I automating for my support agents. This is all you really have to do. From here, whenever a client clicks on free samples, they'll automatically get this macro. And that's one less thing that your support agents have to do. And they can spend their time elsewhere providing that white glove service to anyone else coming through your other channels. I hope this helps. And as always, please reach out to our support team or your success manager if we can help out with any questions.